Welcome. Oops. Is this thing on? Hi guys. It is. Welcome. Fantastic. Hi Stacy. You want to say hi, hi everyone. Hi Ben. Thank you. Come here and say hi. Nice to see you. Hi guys. Welcome. Happy Monday. I was thinking about the day. Like. <laughs> hi oh. you all. How are you? So good to see you guys. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for... Um, I want to single out Anna because Anna just connected and she always shares my, my vlogs and my everything. So Anna and Sherry and thank you so much. Hey, hey. Um, uh, Sherry, thank you so much for really sharing everything on Twitter. It, it means a lot and thank you for reading the essay. Thank you for you know, picking and, and kind of adventuring into the new website. I'm very happy because from now on, we're going to have the recipes there. For me too, you know, I was going through the recipes and I realized, oh, I could do that. I forgot that I had the recipe for that. And it's a recipe that I created, but it's really cool actually to have them there for me as well because somehow I don't have them written anywhere. So no, I know. Like I saw that a long time ago, I made this amazing um, salad with... Uh, keep crab so and yourself. asparagus and I do remember I posted the recipe and there were so many recipes that I've forgotten about so anyway uh, hi Pam um, anyway I'm very happy that they're all gonna be there for us you uh, there are the videos the replays everything I'm very very happy it's been a very long um, work uh, Valerie and Abby were amazing and very generous with their time you know um, I I'll tell you a little thing. Um, when I I had a big, you know, you know that I had this store in Italy that really I had to close. That I lost a lot of money and I opened in the wrong. It was it was I opened at the wrong time in the wrong place, and I had really jumped into this venture and uh, I lost a lot of money in a time when I wasn't sober, so I didn't really behave properly and. Uh, um, so when it came to invest even more money, and then I invested a lot of my money in, uh, in my book and things didn't really go quite as I, as I wished. So when it came to investing for a website, I really was afraid of like, in, of making the same mistake again. And then, um, I don't know, it was really difficult. And Abby and Valerie really, um, are two friends and really took this project as theirs um, and it was truly a labor of love um, and I, um, I don't know I'm really really grateful that um, wherever I go in my life I find people like them and uh, this means that people like them are everywhere so anyway I'm very happy and very proud of that website and uh, yeah it's uh, thank you for thank you for launching it with me uh, thank you Ben for sharing all my stuff always um, I was proud of myself today. Yeah, that today was the was probably the best. Um, uh, now I want to introduce you actually to one of my favorite summer drinks. That really reminds me of when I was um, little, because in it in, in Italy we have ice popsicles, um, mint popsicles, just water and mint syrup. It's basically this, but in the shape of popsicle, and uh, we have anise and mint. Uh, and I love I love both them and this is my one of my favorite mm, probably I should tell you what it is it's simply water and ice and some mint syrup not an ad but actually the best mint syrup and this is actually the same that I use for uh, the lavender Peyton, thank you, you know, thank you. I did have a great Mother Day. It wasn't really relaxing because I, <laughs> because I, um, you know, it was the launch because of the website. I went to the farmer's market and I went super early, found li like a long line anyway. And then I promised Catherine that I would make pizza and pizza is a long process. And then, you know, the website launched and so actually it wasn't relaxing, but I took a nap because when I came back from when I finished, uh, I don't remember what it was then, but I took a nap. I took a small nap and Ben and Catherine were amazing. Uh, look at this. Where's uh, the sparkling water, babe? Yeah, I think it's in the pantry on the bottom. Look at this, you guys. I mean, 
So yes, I hope that uh, all the mother out there had a beautiful Mother's Day as well. Um, thank you for all the Mother's Day wishes. So now <laughs> let's talk about food, right? Um, zucchini. First of all, I grilled most of them already because it's a tedious, long, and uh, unflattering job because you start sweating. And that's the only, I grill them. Uh, you can deep fry. I think that the original traditional recipe for eggplant parmesan, melanzana la parmigiana, is um, with fr deep fried eggplant uh, or deep fried zucchini. Uh, careful because when you technically see now, it's going to. Oh, good job. Um, I don't deep fry them. I think that you, I, they're delicious. They're just heavier, and I wanted something. I always like to make this is a summer dish and um, I don't know I like the grill it's, it's a lighter version of it also because don't don't forget we're gonna add a lot of cheese and blah 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 yeah. um, now uh, I haven't seen fresh eggplants yet at the market so I see zucchini now uh, one other thing before I tell you a little bit of history of this dish because I was reading up when I was the, the zucchini were grilling and since it's kind of a boring thing to just uh, I was I decided to go and look why are they called parmigiana uh first of all i really like this zucchini um more than the long darker one i think that they're sweeter and actually they really remind me of my mom and and, and grandmother i i don't really remember my mom or grandmother using the the other the other type the longer darker green one is that a zucchini? These are, is it the same as a courgette yeah. courgette yeah. Yeah, I think that these are courgette, but um, the Italian zucchini, I, I, don't know, I think that these are sweeter. I like them better. Um, I actually have the green ones as well because I wanted to try and make two different things. But anyway, Babe, couldn't find any. Yes. Mona says she makes a chocolate cake with zucchini in it. Mm. That's Interesting. And, well, anything Can chocolate. you share the recipe with us? Um, does it go around the house? Did I miss something? Does what go around? I don't know. Oh, Probably. oh, oh, the shelf for my hats. Somebody oh, asked what um, do I have for my hats or room. No, I, just have I a like the peanut and the squash. So, um, now a little bit of history. I, you know, I, uh, the, in Italian, they're called um, zucchini alla parmigiana or melanzane eggplant alla parmigiana. Okay? I always thought that they meant because they're from Parma originally, and because you put Parmesan cheese. There are several, um, there are a few regions that, are, that kind of compete to have the ownership of the dish. Sicily, Campania, where Naples is, and Parma, the, the Emilia Romagna, where Parma is, where prosciutto is made, and the Parmigiano Reggiano is made. And is actually, apparently, um, Parmigiana comes from I just, I just had the Italian accent. Comes from, comes from, uh, si, comes from Sicily, from the Sicilian dialect uh, of Parmigiana. Parmigiana are the 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 lists of wood in a shutter. The way they are put one over the other, t t t t Parmigiana. So these are the Parmigiana. This, the, you know, and so. The dish apparently um, is called parmigiana because of how you over, like, you know, you put a layer of parmigiana of eggplant or zucchini and then another one with this almost like a shutter kind of pattern. And apparently the parmesan cheese is an addition that came way later uh, and it wasn't in the original uh, in the original was, recipe. I so it was Parma. I thought it was from Parma. That's the thing. That's what I thought. Is while the zucchini were grilling, I had to kill some time, and I thought, let's go and actually look the etymology. Are you uh, grilling fresh zucchini now? I am grilling one because I want to show them and I want to give them a little tip because if you follow this tip, it's going to actually make your life a little bit easier. Um, I cut them, as you can see. These are 12 zucchini. I'm gonna write this recipe and put it on the website. It's, it sounds so good. Like I love saying that. You can find the recipe on my website. Uh, Mom was posting the uh, recipe. Thank you. So uh, I'm gonna show you where I grill. Of course, if you can grill outside, by all means do that. Uh, I, have, I bought this uh, grill that I can put on the stove so I can grill inside. 
Um, I want this quite thin. And I'll tell you why I want this quite thin. Because, first of all, they grill better. It takes a little bit it takes less time to grill. And the trick, actually the tip is that the more uniformly you cut these, the better because they're going to grill. It's very difficult to cut them precise, like, you know, uh, but the more precise you are, the more uniform and quick cook, cooking time they will have, okay? So, you know, they, and they don't have to be perfect. I like to have them quite thin because then I, I need to use them to layer, okay? So, and I wanna show you, see this one isn't cut properly. So look, I have to I have that, end up pressing it with the, with the fork so that it gets the marks. Otherwise there are parts that lift up here, the edges, and they don't cook well. Actually, it takes longer to cook. Now, we just want, they're gonna cook in the oven for a good 20 minutes. Um, so, don't call they don't have to cook. overcook. And also remember that when you take them off the grill, they're going to keep cooking. And plus we have the oven. So, I want them to have marks. And I think that also the marks make a beautiful flavor addition that you, you're actually not going to miss the, the deep fried zucchini. But again, by all means, if you want to deep fry, the zucchini or the um, or the eggplant. I can't wait for eggplants to show up at the market. Um, but deep fry, it's just heavier. I like to have this kind of on a daily basis and not as a, you know, I, I make this dish in the summer at least once a week when I buy zucchini. So here's our zucchini. Now let this grill. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I agree. What? Little Colin says that uh, that dish towel, that tea towel on the stove yeah, made her nervous. Actually, you know what? I burned one. Yep. I can show you if you don't believe me, but why wouldn't you believe me? Look, I'm like Julia Child. Um, yeah, yeah, and also be careful that uh, knife. Don't do a Julia now, Child with that. I wanna tell you why I love this recipe besides the fact that it's really delicious. I love it because I'm gonna put the recipe, but you can use whatever cheese you want. Uh, in Italy, they use prosciutto as well, ham, Italian ham on in, in the layers. Um, last time that I made it, I had ricotta. This time I don't have ricotta. You can really uh, change the flavor completely according to the kind of cheese that you use. I have a lot of goat cheese and sheep cheese because I like it. And so it gives that kind of really wild earthy taste. Uh, you can use provolone or you can use uh, fontina, you can use asiago, you can use whatever you want. You can really have fun with it. I have some leftover mozzarella from the pizza yesterday. So you can really make your own. Uh, a piece of advice. I posted it a while ago on my profile, uh, a recipe for a basic tomato sauce. If you can make your own tomato sauce, that would be great because it is really going to change the flavor. Um, that's it. Now we're going to wait for this to grill and then we're going to start cutting our cheese. Actually, start cutting our cheese. Let's see. What I love, Alice, do you ever cook lamb? No, I don't eat meat anymore, but I love it. I used to love it. Um, but I don't, I, we don't eat meat in this house anymore, but, um, we never ate meat I in this to, house. I don't think we ever ate meat in this house. Probably. I don't that, remember. No, in this house. No, 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 no. I mean, household. Um, do you salt them? I'm going to salt them, uh, when I layer them. So, because remember that there's going to be cheese, there's going to be sauce. Uh, so I'm going to salt them. I like to control the salt when they are on layers. And, that's, and also, you know, what I love about this is that you can really use this to use scraps of cheese that you have. Look at this. We, I always end up with this cheese container. Like little pieces of everything. Like this. Okay, it's a small piece of the cacio cavallo that my parents gave me. Piece of emmentaler. Uh, this is some good pecorino. And then I have here, I have some cheddar. I have the goat. 
I have blue cheese, I have, I don't know why I always end up with the scraps. And then this container is always at the bottom of everything in the fridge and I'm lazy and I, we don't eat really cheese every day. So this is kind of a clean up, cheese clean up dish. Here it is, nice, 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 nice. Here it is. Uh, ben, you can read the comments. Well, we are here in, oh. A. Carrie would be very happy with that cheese container. Jane Fitzgerald wants to know, did you brush the grill with olive oil? No, because there's going to be plenty of fat in the, in the recipe that no, I haven't. You can if you want. The thing is that you have to keep doing it for every uh, batch of zucchini. How long did it last in the fridge? What, this? The, um, the I think parmigiana? That the zucchini or the parmigiana? The parmigiana, it lasts actually for three to four days, and I'll tell you the truth. The day after, two days later, is even better than Oh, one. you mean the zucchini, the cooked zucchini parmigiana? The parmigiana. I don't yeah. know. What does she mean? The parmigiana or I the don't zucchini? No. I don't know. How because long it they actually lasts pretty really long. I mean, you can, by the way, you can freeze it. But really, the second or third day, it tastes even better to me. Do you remember when we had it last week, like three or four days after I had made it, and it was delicious? Do you remember? We had that leftover for lunch. So this is some... Um, Low, low moisture mozzarella that I uh, used for the pizza last night. It's not very flavorful, but I just going to see it's flavorful enough for me to eat. Jack just joined, and I think it's Jack. Who Jack? Rachel's Jack. Hey, Jack. From Newberry. Are you, you live in, I couldn't remember if it was Alachua, Newberry, or... Uh, Newberry. I think it's, you're right. Um... Here it is. I, I like Mikanobi myself. Hey man, so happy you're here. Hi guys. So see, I, it takes, it's just kind of a tedious job. Um, it's kind of med meditative, so. E. Marie said, uh, I never think cheeses last that long in the fridge. They don't last long in the fridge with us because, um, I'll sneak in there and they somehow magically disappear. That's why I find all the scraps on the bottoms. We have a little mouse in the, in the house. Huh. A little mouse called Ben. A little mouse This perhaps. is a beautiful cheese. I forgot the name. I, I tried it for the first time. When did, what did we make uh, last, a few weeks ago? No, last week, the crostini. This is a, it's a beautiful goat cheese, a sheep. I like sheep cheese a lot. And I really like what it adds to this. Mm. So. They, R Rachel and Jack are both here. Hey, Rachel. Wow. By the way, guys, Rachel is Ben's sister. And absolutely not an ad. She is an amazing pottery artist. And she made so many beautiful vases and bowls that I have here in the house. I got that one. She gorgeous. also... She's truly magical. She also so check is her out. a hell of a cook. And she's a hell of a cook. But look at this. Look at this beauty. Where's the beaded one? Isn't this amazing? So, yeah, check her out. Check her out. Um, I was looking for the beaded one, but I don't see it. What's the, where's the, what's the beaded one? I'll show it to you later. So they're basically ready. Because they're going to keep cooking. Uh, we just want to... This is for two reasons. The grilling is for two reasons. One is that it's really giving a beautiful oh, flavor. And B is, um, is allowing us to, to kind of compose the dish. Um, now, I'll tell you a quicker way to do this. Oh, we're getting, we have compliments for Rachel's, uh, for Rachel's work, and also yes. we got a, oh, Divine is making your mojito cookies from the last episode. Oh my God, that'd be close, they're so hot in here. Divine is making the mojito oh. cookies from the last episode. Oh, nice, let me know how you like it. We haven't made cookies in a, in a while because Catherine really loves to make cake, so we're making cakes. Uh, I made this, um, I wanna, I didn't post about it because I want to change one ingredient um, I, we made a caprese cake with summer 
Caprese cake with summer scent. Caprese cake is a cake traditionally from Capri and is made with almond flour and, um, and, le and cho white chocolate. Um, and there's a version with lemon and white chocolate. So I had a lot of uh, stone fruit that I wanted to use. And, but I need to change something in that recipe. So that's why I haven't posted about it, but I will. Are you gonna make cherry pie? Oh man. We have lots of cherries, but um, Catherine. Yeah, I, I, she's eating them all. So just, you know, chop the cheese. Doesn't have to be precise at all. So make your own mix, whatever cheese you like, whatever cheese you have. You can also make this white if you don't have, um, if you don't have tomato sauce. It's called Parmigiana Bianca. But I really like the, what the tomato does to the fat and creaminess of the cheese. It gives that tang. It kind of breaks the, the monotony of the cheese. Breaks the monotony of the cheese? Hmm? When is cheese monotonous, babe? If there's only cheese, you know, it can become. No. Everything can become monotonous. Uh-uh. Okay, we have some comments. Mm -hmm. We are hearing from the world out large, at large. Um, let me see. Oh, A. Carrie would love to make cherry pie. Why don't you do it? Teresa is making a cherry pie. I think this is all the universe telling you to make cherry pie. DSAR3 says, do you have a recipe for a lemon poppy seed gluten-free cake? We are not You know, I'm not good at, um, that's the thing, I don't, I don't really know how to do gluten-free. And Aaron Mulrooney says, it's, uh, you're making marvelous memories by teaching Catherine to cook. Thank but you. what's even can better say, is we're going to have somebody to cook for us. I want to say something. She says Sorry something. about gluten-free. Actually, I think it's art to cook gluten-free because once you learn to substitute things, it's not just... Um, I'll substitute, you know, almond flour for flour or gluten. I know. I think that I'm not an expert in that I never baked gluten free. You never baked deliberately gluten free. Yeah, and also I really like my gluten. <laughs> okay, so that's, I, I think that I may need a little bit more. Can you do me a favor, Ben? See. Si. Can you go outside and get me just um, a handful of um, basil leaves? See. Si. See. Si. Let me get my shoes. Like a decent amount. Thank you, I forgot. I will be back. More sugar for bed. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to um, experiment again with that cake that I made. <clears throat> Sorry, with Catherine. And uh, as soon as I catch the, the right combination. Okay, Veronica, what is sugar cream pie? I need to know what's sugar cream pie. Does we have two kinds of basil? They're all the same. He just put a lot okay. because he knows that I'm Italian. Catherine tried to eat some this year. I know. And you know, you can always add more cheese if, you, if, it's, if it's needed. What? Oh, um, this is a dish that it's uh, it's beautiful eaten cold. Um, it's um, it's a beautiful dish to present to guests, but as you can see, you know we're having it on a Monday night. Um, so it has the the wrong impression of being a heavy dish is not when you don't deep fry. This is really a basic classic Italian. Um, oh, we have our um, baking dish, you know, get, so this I would say a cup of cube cheese uh, but then we may add, we have some Parmesan cheese, so I would say a cup, but 
it's really up to your taste. You know, if you want more cheese, by all means, load it up. Um, and my tomato sauce. So I actually really like the addition of the ricotta last time that I made it. I just don't have it now. Actually, I do have it. I just don't want to open it for this. Um, just enough to up. The other, Perfect. There's three or four yeah. plants, and this is the only one that has any kind of a good scent. So, um, I like to always put some sauce at the bottom. This tomato sauce always, it takes forever to make. I mean, and it's not difficult, it just takes a long time to make a good one because it has to cook, and then it takes five minutes to go. <laughs> it's, um, I made it for the pizza and I made a big batch, and I thought that it will last forever. You know, it won't. Th this, uh, this, this was incredible though, like you said, the day after. So I'm putting, I'm basically layering the zucchini, okay? Yeah, the, the, yeah no, the day after, two days later is, is the best to me. But, I want to eat it tonight because I'm hungry. But, um, it's going to last for tomorrow and for the day after. I'm sure. What do we have? Peyton has a comment. Okay, right on. Peyton cooks her tomato sauce for six hours. Yeah. That's that actually. That is the deal. Yeah. I actually. It's a start. This. I cooked this for like over the, the course of three days. And because I couldn't always, I was very busy with the website uh, this week. And so I would cook it like two or three hours and then stop. One day I even forgot it uh, on the, I even forgot it on the, out, out of the fridge overnight, <laughs> but they're not good. So now I always end up not having enough zucchini, but see the, this is like the one above the other, just for a tiny bit, just like the shutters. Um, salt. Remember that it's going to be cheese, just as a, and then, you know, I put, I use my, my hands a lot when it comes to this dish, because you just want to put some um, dollops, you say, of, uh, of uh, can I have a piece of paper towel? Yeah, I have a question. Yeah? Did you grill them longer for the one we had the other day? No. Why? Well, I was just curious, because no, it, no, no. it was actually incredible. No, this is the same thing that I did. So, you know, you can, and the sauce doesn't end. Start to put a little bit of sauce on every zucchini. Everything is going to just come together. So, you know. You kind of freaked me out with this the other night. Why? Because it was so good. I mean, for, for, for real. Yeah. I have to grate some cheese. This is not a hype. Uh, this is see. not a hype. Let's get some Parmesan cheese. Everybody loves the way it's looking, sweetheart. And it's also a beautiful dish. It's a, it's a, it's a lovely looking dish. A little bit of um, cheese. There's a question about whether tiramisu is already gluten free. No, because the Savoyardi, don't the Savoyardi, the lady fingers have uh, gluten in them? Yeah, now there is a choice here. You can do two sides. Like I like to do this. So you go horizontal on one and vertical. You don't have to. Uh, maybe there's extra rule, and I don't know the rule. Rachel um, says she missed. What's your website address? It's uh, alicecarbone.com or alicecarbone.com. Because That's I try true. to go by Alice because my, you know, you guys know them in Italian. It's pronounced Alice, and so I really try to go by Alice. And my friends, it's difficult to change to ask people to change the way your no your name is pronounced. Yeah, Eileen, I'm sorry. E. Marie yeah. Allen, the, our nurse from, from yeah, Turkey, yeah. Um, her farmer's markets are closed, but ours are open, the ones that have passed the, uh, the kind of inspection or that yeah, are sticking they, to the they, rules. They only allow like, a small amount of people in, and that's why the lines are super long, and that's why they're asking people to actually don't spend more than 40 minutes in and to kind of plan your visit, you know. Know your farm and know what you want to buy. Know what you want to go. Don't chit chat. Um, 
which is, you know, it's a shame because the beauty of the farmer's market is, you know, the talk and the meeting with people, but it's what is a compromise, you know? Oh, so. Teresa has a good idea. What if you make tiramisu with amaretti instead of savoyard? Ooh, yes, I have plenty Ooh. of amaretti. Yes. That would be gluten-free. Yes. Teresa? Teresa, that yes. That is a stroke of bloody genius. I just need to buy the mascarpone cheese because I don't have it. But maybe next week? Yes, please. What about a tiramisu with, well, no, let's use coffee. I was thinking we can use peaches because I love peaches with, uh, with amaretti. But let's do the classic with, let's um, do the classic the with classic, amaretti. The classic, yeah. Amaretti and coffee. Oh, hell yeah, Teresa. I'm gonna, we're going to call it the Teresa tiramisu. <laughs> The Teresa Misu. The Teresa Misu, perfect. Okay, thank you for the idea. Are you guys in for that? <laughs> Do you want that, guys? Yay! Let's buy mascarpone cheese. Oh, you can also make. Um, Strider Irish says you can make Alice's lemon lavender cookies with uh, King Arthur gluten-free flour. Oh. Um, Peyton says that she finally bit the bullet and bought the good olive oil and salt instead of just taking samples. <laughs> Shelly said, Peyton, what kind of oil did you buy? And Peyton said, it was $18 and apparently it's made from extra virgins. <laughs> if you can, always buy extra virgin. If you can. Y'all from the South, I actually like, like your sense of humor. I actually like the, um, the 365 one that comes from Italy. Not a bad price. Oh, from Whole Foods? Yeah. So, see, you know, it's very, um, Parmesan cheese. No, sauce before. And you don't have, there's not really a rule, you know. Just I just put the, the sauce before the cheese, just because it's easier to then spread. As you can see, it's not precise. So, uh, guys, is um, any of you uh, went back to work? What is happening with your lives? Yeah, are, are you, is your town opening up? Is, is your, your town opening, opening up? up? Tell me. I really want to know. Um, Parmesan cheese. Our town is barely opening up, but they opened up some of the trails for people to hike. And I heard them. horror stories. Did they close them down? No, they, they clo closed the parking. Closed the park. But I, I heard these lousy stories about people just really badly misbehaving on the trails without masks and just, even if you're somebody who thinks that it's like, you don't need a mask. It was nasty what some of the people were saying really? they were doing. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it on a food show. Nashville has a three phase opening. Which phase y'all at? Chicago isn't opening, the cases are still climbing fast, damn it. Massachusetts isn't opening up. 12 out of 16 counties are open, but not You're So Bad's. I forget, where are you, You're So Bad? Um, Tennessee started phase one. Oh, Peyton's got her first shoot booked at the end of the month, and fingers crossed. You know what? Fingers crossed, mask on, and just, you know, just spray them. You know, like they walk in the door, and you just spray them in the face with some kind of, you know, disinfectant, you know? Wipe them down with some Clorox wipes before you uh, do the rest of the shoot. It should work, you know. <laughs> Salons are starting to open in yeah. Calgary. That's you know, I you know, here. I wish mine was allowed to open because she, my um, hair person she uh, doesn't really work. She doesn't work in a salon. She works by herself. She has a one room just by herself. Nobody's in there other than her. And I really hope that they would allow those kind of salons to open because they're super safe. Because, you know, there's nobody. She wears a mask, I wear a mask. Uh, she can disinfect everything. She's gonna wear gloves. But salons are not allowed to open. It really bumps me out because they're some of the most actually hygienically controlled places where you can actually control the, the amount of people in. But you know, I'm actually, I don't care what they're gonna allow us to do. Uh, we are in phase one and uh, um, I don't trust it. I don't feel safe. I'm going to really, unfortunately, stay in for a while um, and do just the minimal, you know, walks in the neighborhood. And did they put cheese now here? So, yeah, but that's me. I just don't want to run any risk. Da -da -da. Damn, you're so bad, said 
Some, you, some lady came to the courthouse and sprayed her mother with something. Jeez, don't. I was making a joke, y'all. Don't spray people. Ah, yeah. Neck. I should have to hurry. Pretty Tom Petty saw a video online of a woman wearing a face mask, but she cut a hole in the mouth because it was making Gee. breathing difficult. Oh, my <sighs> God. Can but I Alice, have... your hair looks great. I think Thank you're you. sneaking out. I have, a, I have a question. Can some of them, I know what they do for a living, but I would like to know what they do. Did you guys miss to go to work and what do you do? Some of you I know, uh, some of you are newer and I don't. So what do you guys do for a living? Those that I don't know, if you know that I know, well, don't worry. We have nurses. Yeah, we also that. have, let me see. Um, there's a compliment on the kitchen, my darling. Oh, um, thank you. Let's see. One more oh. layer and then we close it up. Emarie says her friend and her husband are, are stylists and out of work since March. Yeah. Um, let me see. So, You're So Bad works in the courthouse, obviously. Um, Veronica's no, getting no, highlights. No, You're So Bad as a weed, as a, as, a, uh, CBD, as a CBD business. But she said some lady came into the courthouse. Oh, you were just, uh, it just happened to be the courthouse. I always assume because of my father that if you're in the courthouse, it's because you work there. No, you're so bad as um... Mona ate in a restaurant, in a restaurant for the first time in two months that can be open for 25% capacity in Florida and has a hair Scary. appointment tomorrow. Do you feel safe in a restaurant, I would never eat in a restaurant. I'm too, I, I am not restaurant. feeling good. Um, La Virtue in Philadelphia is still in lockdown. Yeah. Too La many Virtue people has, without um... masks. Are you starting doing a takeout, La Virtue? They are. Um, is who? La Virtue. They have an Italian restaurant in Philadelphia. Oh yeah, La Virtue. Are you, are you doing a, takeout? Uh, if they're doing takeout. Oh, you're so bad. Mom is a bailiff in the courthouse, and she sprayed the bailiff. A woman came in and sprayed your mom, and your mom's the bailiff. Lord, Why she's is the bailiff. <laughs> the bailiff is an officer of the court, and you don't want to mess how with officers you, of the court. How do you spell it? B A I L I F F. Okay. You do not want to mess with those. So those peeps. the last layer, we just want to put some tomato sauce. I'm actually missing some zucchini, so it's okay. These but this are is a three. very nice yeah. thick one. These are three is an audio video archivist. Oh wow. Huh. And Lou Gold said something. Let me see. What did you say, Lou? It was on the news. I read something wild on the news today. Um, yeah. Today? <laughs> Somebody's moving back to New York from Florida because they don't feel safe in uh, Florida. That's... Mm. Okay, now salt. Well, oh, Aaron Mulrooney is the assist, associate See, dean... Of, Aaron Mulrooney is the associate dean of administration at yeah. Cornell Engineering and the blues singer. So you get into work online. For, what are you doing... Uh, um, are you doing anything online for for the for Cornell and there's no singing, is there? Pretty Tom Petty teaches piano, but had to stop due to the virus. I'm listening, guys. Oh wow! Just Kathy Glass and Ash, nurse for 43 years, retired right before all this. Cookies and legal records management, and fights government corruption. Go go go! Jamie's a photographer. I think I knew that, Jamie. Um, let me see. You know, guy, when I, guy, guy, guys, when I ask you things, believe me, I truly care. When I ask you on the photos, what are you doing? What are you having for breakfast? Uh, how, where do you live? I really care about imagining you in your daily life that is not just, you know, we meet once a week. I really care and I'm really interested in knowing what your lives are. I don't ask just to make conversations. Or because I, you know, I'm cooking and we need to fill up a show. I'm really interesting, and I actually end up reading all the comments after the show. Oh, ben yeah. puts Catherine down. I usually sit on the floor. That means I put her in bed. That's not, yeah, put her in bed. So we close with 
tomato sauce and cheese, because it's kind of late. Uh, I want this to bake for uh, 25 to 30 minutes, but we're going to bake it for less. It's going to be cooked. I'm just, it's going to be absolutely cooked. I just, uh, we just don't have the time. The Virtue but says they for, tried. So, 425 with convection on. 425 with convection. Yeah. Um, the Virtue says they tried takeout last Saturday and it was okay, but very new for them and a little sad not being able to talk with anyone. Yeah. Yes, I will bet. Tweety for Birds was an office manager for a large jewelry store till their mom got sick, who, and took care of her full time till she passed away over a year ago. Well, God bless you for doing that, but that's hard. Zoe is pretending she's a pioneer survivalist and planning on staying home for the long run. Yup. By the way, this is what it looks like. Zoe, I love you. You guys, don't you all Zoe, miss Zoe? Zoe, we have to talk about Satyricon. Uh, don't you all miss Zoe? Oh, that's a very heavy one. So, let's give you a little bit, and then I'm gonna... How many layers? I don't know. But they were 12 zucchini. 12 zucchini, one cup of, one filling, one full cup of cheese, chopped, uh, you know, great as much as uh, you need Parmesan cheese. And uh, if you have some ricotta, add some ricotta, have fun with it. And uh, uh, probably we used half a cup of sauce, but feel free to use what you need. So anyway, I'm really, um, I wanted to let you know that when I ask, I really care. Um, Teresa loves that your parmesan yeah, is not Yeah, that's why I want to make it, I want to make it a little bit, first of all, let me. Uh, it's different. It's not like you get stuff that's, Italian in America. Maybe the American Italian is from a different I don't know. area. I just thought that that's the way my mom always, because my mom would never fry, so that's how my mom makes it. And uh, as I was saying at the beginning, I really like that it's a lighter version of the breaded or deep fried one. You can put some, uh, you know what you can do also? I realized that I didn't put olive oil. Actually, maybe I can put some olive oil on top. Um, you can put some uh, olive oil in layer, in the, on the layers and uh, I want to just, some, um, just a drizzle of olive oil. And you can uh, sprinkle some, if you want, uh, breadcrumbs. Not necessary at all. I just, um, I think that this is, uh, okay. This is gonna make it perfect. Marissa wants to know again, what are you drinking? It's mint <laughs> it's syrup. Mint, it's water with mint syrup. And I'm drinking sparkling water with mint syrup, which is the French way, don't you know? Top with breadcrumbs? Do you top it with breadcrumbs? Do you don't? No, Do you? no. But you can. I just uh, they are in the pantry and I don't feel like. Anna Moria, I can Fellini Roma is out of print, and I don't know if you can buy it, but I'm gonna hit up Criterion because I bought Satyricon, and whoa, whoa, whoa! I saw it when I was 16. I don't know how I came out of that thing alive. Woo! It's really something. Um, people. Colossal breaded cutlets are an American Italian influence. What is colossal? Colossal giant. Oh, colossal. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you said something the other day. She said something the other day that was really, really Italian. What did you say? Oh. After. You made this up. I said, well, I'm going to give it to you after we make the, after the pizza. You said. Uh, I'm going to give it to you after we make no, it the pizza. No, I didn't talk like that. You said, you did. I you don't said, talk like that. You guys. said make it the no. pizza. You I said did, make it the I pizza. Did. Guys, I do not talk. You talk. actually said. I do not talk this way. You said you can have it after I make it the pizza. I didn't say that, guys. <laughs> Who do you believe? Uh, is the culinary lavender you use more than lavender syrup? Uh, I use the syrup and I also use... Um, you get, you know, I also use another kind that I bought last year on Amazon. I try not to use Amazon anymore. Oh, Goody5960 was a horse trainer but broke but her wait, back five years can ago. Can I tell you something about the lavender? Lately, I've been using this. It's a very particular flavor. But my friend Tessa gave me this tea, the Honey and Sons French Super Blue Lavender, and I really like to cook with it. So, um, this and... Um, Culinary, I'm gonna get you the brand. Take, take the big charge. This is not a quarantine beard. I was growing mine back and I shaved it because I didn't like the look and I started growing it back and Alice liked it. And um, there's really no time. I mean, we have a two-year-old who's really active and 
I don't know. My days are full, full, full. I cannot. I was going to show you it before the show. It can't be done. Do you want to talk beards? Well, what you can do is call somebody else because I don't want to talk. Of course, I cut the part of the lavender. It smells so good. It makes me want to have lavender now. Um, this is organic, extra great raw from France, 35 organic. It lasts forever. I don't even remember how much it made. Oh, yeah, what's the brand? But it really does last forever. It's called, you know what? Feel Good Organics. Uh, it's actually expired it doesn't on october 19th of 2019 but i don't think a lavender can expire and so it smells beautiful and i still use it i like to mix all of them because this one has a different smell this is it i don't know if it's because it's made for tea or just another kind of lavender french super blue lavender makes a beautiful tea that becomes purple light purple and then blue we talked about this a few times. Um, I really like to experiment when it comes to lavender. Never use the extract. I noticed that the, that the syrup has a su much more subtle um, flavor, which I love. There see? is a, wait a second. Who said that? Ooh, there's a farmer, Devine said there is a lavender farm on Maui that does mail or oh whoa okay can you can you uh well probably if I google lavender farm on Maui but if you can uh, link the mail that order. would be great is there an email list to get a product list you mean on my on my website I can if you if you guys are interested. I try not to spam with no. I try not to. I don't really spam with uh, if people subscribe to my um, to my website. You can subscribe to my website and you get all the news and etc. I try not to really um, send too much because I know that people get really annoyed when they receive too many emails. But if it's something that you guys are interested in, I'm happy to send a list of products that I use. Definitely. So subscribe, go to my website, alicecarbone.com, uh, alicecarbone.com, and you can subscribe, and uh, I'll work on it. Thank you, Laurie. Also. Thank you for the lavender. Lisa wants to know um, what your favorite gluten-free pasta is. But we don't really do gluten-free on purpose around. We don't deliberately do it around here. Um, she uses chickpea. I know, I, I know that I, I have some lentil because I, but I, I don't use it because I don't, I don't need it. And so I, I you know, but I think that's some lentil. Uh, I had it for a friend. So when gluten-free friends come, I make a separate, uh, I was previously subscribed to your blog. Will the subscription transfer over from the old site? Uh, yes, it does. Yeah, absolutely. It was the same blog. Uh, okay. The chickpea or lentils are my favorite, says Peyton. I've used the lavender lip balm for years. Um, let's close. Okay, I, lo I hate when that happens. There's something so good and then it closes and you don't have it anymore. Divine, um, Divine gave the uh, link for the Hawaiian lavender. Yeah, I saw that. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Chickpea or lentils are good. Peyton, you said I get to drive on the school bus again Friday and deliver activity bags, food. Oh, that's outside. great. Oh, that's great. That is great. Um, I know, so. almost 10 minutes, Cookie. It's crazy. And uh, it's going to be so hot to drive that thing. Um, Y'all hear about the five-year-old kid who stole his parents' car and was driving down the freeway when he was pulled over by an officer who thought it was somebody having a heart attack? And he had, he had $3, and he said to the officer, I'm driving to California to buy a Lamborghini. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the Liberci said that there's some uh, decent Italian corn-based pasta brands. You know, I think that the Czech also makes uh, gluten-free fastest hour of the week. I know. Ah, I hate it. I hear a pop. Or is it Ben Brin? No, there's no pop. <laughs> what was yet. that? Or is it Ben what? Ben breathe. Oh, it was Ben breathing hard. Woof. No pup. Woof. Not yet. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, does somebody thought that they heard? Uh, did you think you heard Catherine? Because Catherine ain't hanging around much today. Yes, I heard that too. 
Huh. Did you hear Catherine? No, they said that they heard. Where's Catherine? Someone asked. She's eating outside. She's doing a. She's having a. Is she picnic. outside? Do you have any pets? No, yet. We have Catherine. Uh, not for a while. Oh. Uh, we're having a hard time <laughs> waiting for the mojito cookies. We pulled. Yay! Let me know. No, they don't last long. Also because they're so light that. Um, thank you for the skin. Catherine wants a pup, she can come hang out with my two. Yes, she can. Uh, I Lamos. heard a dog bark. Lamos I think they're outside. Non -e she's, in, she's in the front. Ah, okay. Uh, Catherine oh. really likes to, to have picnic in the front yard. <laughs> Thank you, Ronhard. I loved Luca so much that at the end of that tour, I stayed in, uh, I stayed in Europe and called a friend and went back to Luca and back to Florence and then I kept going back to Italy and now look, now look what happened. And yes, Catherine does speak Italian. Oh, Sometimes she refuses, but she does. I want to tell you two things. I'm going to take it out in um, three minutes. It Thank needs you, to, and it's cooked, okay? It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be, it's not going to hurt us trying it. However, please, it has to cook for half an hour, okay? It's been cooking for probably for 15 minutes, but it needs the time. And really not to cook because everything is already cooked, just for everything to come together and for the cheese to melt and blah, 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 blah. So please. Hi, Vicky. I'll be right Thanks back. for sending the card for, for Alice. Can you see? Hey, Vicky. I'm sorry I can't join on any of the Zoom things, but my time is completely used. Hi, We're Vicky. almost up, Vicky. We're almost up. I pass your request on to Alice. Hi, and Vicky. And she will be getting back to you, and I think it's affirmative. Oh, I was okay. just hungry, and I said, I'm going to go to the pantry and get some tarani. Um Because I see this blue cheese here, and it's too bad that it's been sitting there. It says, hey, you haven't used me in, my par in the parmigiana. Can you please eat me? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Well, we've got eight minutes left, so you know. Mm, seven minutes. Don't don't everybody check out. A lot of people are saying, "Ciao, hey, stick around. We ain't done yet." And if you have to go meditate, you know you're not going to be able to meditate because you're going to be wondering how this turns out. We're going to try it now. I promise. We're going to try it. I thought it needed to cook another fifteen minutes. We can eat. It. We can try. It. We're going to you're put, gonna it put it back in. Mm -hmm. So Sorry, we're just going to eat it. Room. We're just going to tell everybody it tastes a little undercooked. Man. <laughs> It's not going to taste undercooked. It's not? No, because it's not, it's, everything is already cooked. I did not meet Alice in Italy. I met her in Los Angeles. And we started dating right after I came back from a long trip to Italy. But I didn't. Mm -mm. I did not. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh, yeah. The, oh, the website again is... AliceCarbone.com or AliceCarbone.com I can't believe that an hour is over. I wait all week, all day. Um, look at this. You know, it's like... I wish this would be trouble. I hear somebody Down, now... Can I take it out? We're gonna try it. No, she can't get her nails done here. Uh, now, I just old-fashioned. I bought some nail polish and I bought some nail polish and didn't even push the cuticles. It's really ugly. I just wanted to see some color on my nails. Uh, what I'm going to do now. Ciao, Mario. Oh, i pantalon. Ma sei senza pantaloni. Pata nuda. Senza pata nuda sei. Pata nuda sei. Quel pannolino pieno di pipi? Don't you love when people start I speaking? Love a Alice isn't really Italian. She just thinks it makes her sound smart. Go, go, go. Aqua. No, basta acqua menta. Yes, I'm going to cut a tiny bit. Oh, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm aqua menta. No, I'm on an She already had aqua menta. You don't need aqua menta. You had aqua menta already. I gave already. her some people water with mint like before people the show. People are being by. Pico la, pico la, pico la. So I'm just going to cut out a small piece and just for us to try and then I'm going to put it back. It's, um, it needs, you know, it's, 
It needs to be cooked a little But it's actually delicious. I already know. I already can see that. Where's their gloves? It's late, 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 late. It's late, late, late. It's late, late, late. It's late, We're running late, as always. Ah, uh, Tweety said, time flies when you're having fun and your nails look fantastic. Anna Maria, that's right. Catherine has no pants. She's running around with just a diaper <laughs> now, and a top. Do, did I just really lock myself into making uh, tiramisu next week? You. Uh-uh. Okay. With amaretti. With amaretti, see. Sí. That's a great idea. Way. Oh, Janie's going to go make this dish right now. She's been simmering the sauce for hours. That's great. I hope you like it. Zoe, it does look delicious. Oh. You're so bad it does. Cookie, it does look delicious. But I'll let come you here. know. Now, given I'm shy about eating it needs camera. more cooking, but not because of it's it's you can tell the flavor. And this is a corner with not much cheese. I mean, right? It's really, really good. It's already really, really good. Imagine what it will be in It's gonna be minutes. spectacular. Mm. Thank you. Another great show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. you guys. Y'all, thank you for coming every week. Thank oh. you for coming. How do you stop the zucchini from getting watery? They really don't get this. This they don't get watery. They don't get watery, and actually, what I love is that uh, you cook it. When you take it out, let it rest for a little bit. I think that probably the other zucchini, the green, like the the taller ones, the taller, <laughs> the longer green, darker ones are more watery but these don't get watery at all so try and let me know and comment to message me if you if you need help um guys um thank you so much um mine always get mushy did you do you grill them before putting them in the parmigiana because they become mushy like when i do when i make the pasta if you saw the video when i made the pasta with the tomatoes it's um that it was Italian and it gets mushy and I cut it very thin, saute, cook it very well, but that's what it has to be for, the, for this. When you grill it, it has the same, it has actually, it's, it has the crunch. Um, don't salt the zucchini and it won't draw water. Yeah, I don't salt it until the end. I, I, you saw I salt it when I make, when I build the layers. Um, so he wants some. She drives by. We should. We could throw some at her. So if you want to drive by, I'll prepare. We'll, I'll, we'll just, I'll leave a little we'll box just, for you. We'll throw it out the window. I'm after. serious, Zoe. If you are in the area, you want to drive by. I'm gonna leave a box out for you, uh, guys. We have three minutes. Let's make these three minutes work. Uh, I mean, they're all worth. Um, you know, a little Richard record this. is less than three minutes. We just play a little Richard record. I met Little Richard. I actually wanted to play one day Sam, our friend Richard. Sam's remix of a song that I really like. Um, we'll miss you, but as you see, uh, do I post too much on Instagram, by the way? Because sometimes I feel like, um, do I post too much? I don't know. Um, as you see, I'm not going to disappear. And uh, I love you guys. What a beautiful show. I'm going to let you know how this tastes Cheers. in a few hours. Cheers. Cheers. Um, but the thing is, are you wanting to know if it, um, I can't play like Little Richard, so I can't play Little Richard on the piano. Um, and uh, I think that we have two minutes remaining, so. Well, keep knocking is one minute and 55 seconds, but still. You want to do it? Nope. I'm okay. not going to disgrace myself by trying to play like Richard. Richard Penelope was a great piano player. Do you want to try? We have, no, uh, we have 137, 136. Okay. Uh, guys. Thank you. Have a beautiful week. Um, eat well. Be curious. Open your mind. And thank you for being amazing. I love you. For real. I'm taking this with me. Bye, guys. Have a good week. I'm going to read all the comments. Love you.